Right, I mean, our fantasy is for nudes. Specifically that nerd. What? Fantasy sports is not for nudes, oh, why? Well, well I don't think grown men should be playing. It's still real to me, damn it! Anti injustice. So I am pro this story. Hmm, thank you, why? I too am anti justice or pro justice. I'm a Libran, I'll work it out. Anyway, <laughs> this is a new ground for CGW. Uh, join us as we blow the lid off a story of stink prizes that goes probably all the way to the middle of the NRL. Yep, I reckon. It's not every day you get the chance to sit down with one of the best NRL fantasy players going around. What motivates you to be good at fantasy? Greatness, I guess. Um, you know, making a difference, being remembered for something. Probably more than anything, just uh, banter with the boys. But there's got to be a little bit of incentive there outside of banter with the boys, right? Uh, I guess that's the issue, Ra, as I thought there was. But there isn't. When Tav found out he was the top dog player, he was expecting a sick prize to be coming his way. You had the best team in round seven for NRL Fantasy out of 170,000 people. Is that correct? Number one. And what was the prize you got? 10 bucks. What kind of 10 bucks? Not even real 10 bucks, virtual 10 bucks. Virtual 10 bucks to spend on a food delivery service you can't even get in New Zealand. DoorDash. DoorDash. Never heard of it, mate. We don't get it in New Zealand. What is it? We get deliveries and we get Uber Eats. Yeah. Those would have been handy. Either one I would have been fine with, but yeah, nah. Stitch up. Absolute stitch up. Prizes in the past have not been the stink, and Tavis probably would have been stoked on them. Yeah, so in the past there's been anything from a uh, thousand bucks. 500 bucks. Really? Yeah. KFC vouchers. Really? Yeah. Tickets to games. Tickets to games. Jerseys. Jerseys. A lot. Yeah. I feel like they look at what's the prize we can give everyone, but the Kiwis can't actually enjoy. You know? Exactly. This is a New Zealand versus Australia issue at the end of the day. Yeah. It's like giving a, a tradie a petrol voucher. You know he drives a diesel. Exactly. What's he going to do with the petrol? The tradies drive diesels. Yeah. OK. If you wanted to address this camera here, this camera, and if you had a message for the NRL Fantasy Prize Division, what would your message be? Sort it out. Now. Give us prizes you can use in New Zealand. Give us prizes we can use in New Zealand. And better than 10 bucks. And better than 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Maybe 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 50. 50 bucks. 50 bucks wouldn't, you wouldn't turn your nose out. Yeah, 50 bucks I can use, bro. Yeah. You know? 50 bucks he could use, bro. Sort it out, NRL Fantasy. Oh, that goes right to the heart of the yeah, problem. Yeah, well, um, we've set up a change.org uh, petition. Um, <laughs> yeah, just here, if, if you could go to the website, we've got 124 signatures so far. Oh, wow. And, um, we're trying to get the uh, NRL to give out better prizes for fantasy. A lot of people put a lot of effort into it, and um, I don't. I'm coming last in my league, but, um, yeah, anyway, if you can sign it, anybody who's watching. And honestly, and we can donate to this as well? I don't think you can donate. We're just trying to... I mean, I'm willing to donate. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Why don't you? I feel like I've changed your mind on, on, on this issue. Oh, that, can we yeah, put I this Can it. we put this on our um, Insta and Facebook page, Craig yeah, as well? we should do. I was, yeah, I was tentatively going to do it, maybe. No, do it, man. <laughs> this is important. Okay, thanks. We yeah, need yeah, to no, send 100%. a message. The prizes 100%. suck.